Alright guys, we're gonna run it. Testing, you got us. Got you guys, copy. Alright, let's go, fire away. Ready to rock? Some of the most famous shots in golf have been swung right here on this hole. Tonight, we're doing it our way. Here we are on the tee box of 16 here at TPC Scottsdale, home of the WM Phoenix Open. And tonight, we're gonna do something we've always wanted to do and play night golf. Let's go. We're live, we're live. Go in, go in. Tracking nicely. Checked up just about nine feet short. Historic first shot. Spin. That shot looks pretty good. Spin. Come on, baby. Uh, a little up. Shout out to GM Golf, last year's Phoenix Open. We had this idea. And then like a couple days later, we see a clip of him hitting a night shot like this. So shout out to him. About 20 feet short. That's about 30 feet deep. Every ball flies differently. <laughs> We've had a dispersion on length. Same club. One was 30 yards deep. The next one was 10 yards short. As you might be able to tell, these aren't Pro V1s. These are Glow V1s. That was beautiful. Okay, here's the deal with glow balls. While they do make glow balls, that's not what we're hitting. These are LED balls, built-in battery LED core that lights up at impact. You bang them, they light up. They feel like freaking rocks. Ah! They fly at least a club shorter than regular balls and aren't the most consistent things in the world. Oh, and they crack sometimes. That ball sounded like it broke. Yeah, that thing's cut, big time. We're kind of having equipment failure. Okay guys, check this out. When we got back to the studio, we made some fascinating discoveries. We peeled the cover off a few of the cracked balls to see what was inside. No shit, these things flew all over the place. Surrounded by a clear, hard plastic shell is the brain of the ball. It's a button battery sandwiched by a circuit board, reflector, and a bulb on each side. The weight isn't balanced at all. Sometimes the brain was molded completely to one side of the ball. The trajectory, spin, and distance of these things was impossible to predict. I'd go as far as to say that where these balls were going was predetermined before we even hit them. Oh, also we bought two different brands. We got RL and Battle Pulse. We thought both of them were cracking, but when we got back, it turns out Battle Pulse was the only one that cracked. So shout out to RL, they made a better cover. Bottom line, it wasn't easy. But we're persevering through this right now. Ryan's gonna have to be throwing bullseyes tonight. Tell Doug I'll give him a hundred bucks if this ball's right of pin. I owe him a hundred bucks. That yardage should be better. Hey, you know, if you miss the green on 16, you get booed. Very true. All right, so I'm gonna get serious. Ooh, the fans on 16 may like this one. Be there. Oh, pin hide, maybe five feet to the right. Great shot. I'm starting to feel it. About nine o'clock at night is when Mr. Johnson just starts showing his best game anyhow. You pick it. Blue. Blue. Yeah, I think at this point, it's not what ball you hitting, it's what color ball you hitting. Go in. Hey, the Rockets fans on 16 will applaud anything on the green. Not a bad shot. Let's go. I'm trying to get up for this because it's getting cold. Ball's getting heavy. That's a great shot right there. Right on line, about five feet short. Just give us a little bit more oomph. and we played night golf. But what's most important is that we still hold the title as the first people to crack a beer on number 16. Until next time, golf fans. Night golf! <laughs>